Well, good morning, guys. It's hard to believe, uh, in the middle of all this crazy stuff going on, that there is something that we can actually be incredibly thankful for. But right now, I am amazingly thankful for what today represents. Today is the, the most amazing and wonderful day that we as people who believe in Jesus Christ and what He did for us, that we celebrate it's Easter. Oh my gosh. It's amazing. You know, we give gifts and presents and, and make a big deal and do all the crazy decorations and stuff for, for Christmas. But I think, in a lot of ways, we should really maybe make a bigger deal in a lot of ways about Easter. The reason is, is because Easter is when we received the greatest gift that could have ever been given to mankind. And that is the gift of life that comes from what Jesus Christ did for us when He died on the cross and rose again. And when I think about what it is to the, this gift of life, I started thinking about well, what, what represents a gift of life. And, and I happened yesterday, I just planted my garden. I got all my corn planted for my garden. And then... In a few weeks, when my corn starts coming up, I'm going to start planting some of the other stuff. And what I'm going to plant is this right here. It's made by a company in Park Seed, which is from a town I used to live in, in Greenwood, South Carolina. But it's a, it's a packet full of lima bean seeds. I, love, I know some of y'all don't like beans. I don't like green beans. I can't stand them. Miss Leslie makes me eat them anyway. I'm okay with peas, but I love lima beans. And so I have in my hand a handful of lima bean seeds, and I'm going to plant some lima beans because they're my favorite. And when I think about a seed, I think about it a lot like you do maybe like an egg because we love to go egg hunting on Easter Sunday morning. And a seed to me represents all of the cool things that are possible. It represents all the, the potential of life. I mean, we look at a seed and we think, oh, it's just a silly seed. We don't think much about them and we, we kind of blow them off. But in reality, inside this one little tiny seed is the potential for new life, a whole plant that can produce lots of stuff that we like to eat, or I like to eat anyway. It, it, it represents new life. Boy, that's a beautiful thought, isn't it? I mean, that's what Jesus Christ did when He died on the cross. He gave us the chance for new life. We didn't have that chance otherwise. We never have the ability to have new life without what, what Jesus did when He died for us on that cross. And that's what we're celebrating today. Kind of like this little seed. I like to think of myself like that. All that new life. It just needs the right things to, to be watered and, to, and, and to, to give the opportunity to be planted in good soil and, and sprout and grow and get sunlight and, and all the nutrients that it needs to grow. Well, that's what we do. That's what church is all about. That's what accepting Jesus, you know, when you accept Jesus in your heart and follow Him as your Lord and Savior, you're kind of like a brand new seed that just sprouted into new life. And we as your church at First Baptist, man, our job is to, is to give you all the nutrients and nourishment and teach you all the things that you need to know. And we continue to learn too so that we can grow strong and big and produce good fruit. That's what Easter means to me. It's all about what Christ did on the cross. It's all about acknowledging Him as my Lord and Savior so that I can grow into something wonderful. Something that will will bring honor and glory to His name. And one day, when it's time for me to leave this life, I'll know what real life is all about because I'll be with Him in heaven. What an incredible thing that we as Christians get to look forward to. Well, listen, I hope you guys have a wonderful Easter, even if we're having to do it at home this year. And it won't be that long, hopefully, when we're all back together again. I love you guys. I miss seeing you more than I can tell you, but hopefully it won't be long. You guys take care. Be blessed on this beautiful Easter Sunday morning.